Welcome back to my channel. Ooh, ooh. I have a very, very exciting video for you guys today. Oh, because I am doing a collab video with the beautiful April from Wanna Makeup. You guys have heard me talk about her in the past. She is such, such, such a wonderful, wonderful person. We have become friends, have been talking through Voxer and texting each other. We both are obsessed with, she's a lipstick junkie all the way, but her second and third favorite are eyeshadows and highlighters. So she is my BFF, let me tell you. I love eyeshadows and highlighters. So because we have influenced each other on highlighters and we love that JLo glow, we're not afraid of some glitter on our cheeks. Who cares how old we are? We love that glow. So we decided to do a collab. If you do not know who I am talking about, I will link her channel down below. You guys should truly check her out. She can shop. You think that I can shop? This woman can shop. I want to go to her house and play with her makeup. She has amazing taste. Love everything. We have very, very similar taste. So if you guys love my channel, you're going to enjoy her. I love her personality. I was super excited when she, uh, uh, when she did agree to do this video with us. And it is so appropriate for both of us because her and I will send pictures of like seriously the highlighted glowing life pictures of how we want our cheeks to look like. My goal in life is to be able to be seen from outer space from my highlight and I'm sure she's right there with me. So we decided to pick our top five all time favorite highlighters but of course I just cannot narrow it down to five so I think I have two, four, six, seven and that's like it was hard for me I'm not gonna lie it was very very hard for me to pick just five so I did tell her that I was gonna have a hard time picking five that I may go over so I'm pretty sure she went over and I would not be surprised if her and I have the same taste because yeah I love my highlights so I I'm gonna tell you up front I the highlighters that I am obsessed with are, are currently right now some of them I would say maybe my forever highlighters that I will always repurchase if I ever go through one and some of them may change I don't know but uh, I'm always looking for that amazing highlighted look so this could change but for now this is my top favorite highlighters and unfortunately I do not have any from the drugstore well now technically one is from the drugstore so yeah I do have one from the drugstore so let's just jump in before this video gets extremely long and you guys will run away. So the first one I want to show you guys, of course, I can't do a video without showing this brand. Bobby Brown. Bobby Brown. The one that I love is beige. If I I know that there is two more two other ones that I own in my collection. If you guys have not seen my collection of the Bobbi Brown shimmer bricks, I will link it down below and you will see every single one that I own and it has not changed since till this day, so it's still the same. But I wanted to pick something that was permanent and where you guys can still purchase it. So, this is beige. It's amazing. It is gorgeous. I would highly recommend this one if you want that highlight glow look. Look at that. Ooh. Ooh, this looks like your face is wet and you just came out of the beach this is definitely one that I would highly recommend you guys have heard my spiel on this I'm not even gonna tell you I'm just gonna close it and put it down the next one that I would highly recommend is the Laura Mercier highlight number one this is the matte radiance baked powder in number one <gasps> This is that one where it's that glow within, super soft, super finely milled kind of highlight. Oh my God, you look so pretty. That's a heavy swatch, but isn't that gorgeous? Look at that. I love this and you will never ever go through this. Like, I'm serious. Unless this is all you use for the rest of your life, you're never gonna go through this. This is amazing, amazing. I love that it comes with a mirror too and it's the same size as my Bobbi Brown. So if you know what a Bobbi Brown compact looks like, this is what this one looks like. And I would highly recommend that one. Isn't that gorgeous? Oh, love it. Love it. Next one that I'm going to show you is from Cover X, Cover FX. And this is the one in Sunlit, Sunlight. This is a gorgeous, gorgeous one. This brand is so nice with their powders. It's so soft. Kind of reminds me of the Becca ones. The Becca, it feels just like the Becca ones this oh my god this is so pretty 
so pretty look at that oh my gosh this is gorgeous you need this in your life you need this in your life not many people talk about this one but you need this one look at that you need it in your life it's a very natural one it's it's so soft that it bundles up in a ball that's how this powder is Ugh. It, it feels like the Becca ones, like the Becca powders. It's a mineral powder, so all you have to do is really just pat it. You don't have to, like, jam your brush in here because then you're going to get a, a bunch of kick up. But if you know the formula of the Becca blushes, the Becca highlighters, that's how this one feels. And it is amazing. Believe it or not, I did not include Becca Opal in here, even though I do own Opal and Moonlight. It's just because it just gets so much hype. I'm, like, over it already. I'm going to show you different ones. That's why. The next one that I got that I have is one that I showed you guys last year and all of a sudden this year it blew up. I purchased this in last year in November's VIB Rouge sale. I showed you guys this in a Sunday Loves. I hauled it and I told you guys this is an amazing one and I called it that it was going to be something that everyone was going to like and this year it is always sold out. Nicole Guerrero uses it all the time now everyone's obsessed with it. It is the Makeup Forever Compact Shine in number 3. Yes, I call this one. This is gorgeous, 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 gorgeous. I do have five as well, but I love three more. Ah, uh, here it is right here. Look at that. This is beautiful. Another very soft powder that you don't need too much on your cheeks. It is amazing, amazing. Oh, I forgot to tell you, I do have the cover effects on my cheeks but I have something under it that I'm going to show you but I do have that one on my cheeks so just want to let you guys know that so anyway back to number three of makeup forever this is amazing it is worth the price you need to check it out this was one of my very first purchases from makeup forever and I love it love this one ah oh, amazing the next one I want to show you guys is from Bare Minerals, and it's a duo, and it is the Bare Minerals Ready Luminizer, and it has Love Affair and Shining Moment. Isn't this gorgeous? Oh my goodness. So obviously I like Shining Moment, which is the gold portion of it uh, now, but it is gorgeous. I love this. This is very, very soft to the touch, and it is a very gold highlight. I don't know if you guys can see it right there. It's very um, subtle, but it's gorgeous. Here's Love Affair, which is more of a rose gold. I don't know if you guys see These are very, very soft, but they're subtle highlights. Can you see it right there? Gorgeous. They used to sell um, the Shining Moment in a limited edition compact, which was the whole thing. And unfortunately, I did not get it. I think it was last year or the year before. But I did find it in the duo, and I, this is still available, so you guys can get this. But I particularly like the Shining Moment more than the Love Affair. But they're both beautiful. This is something that I never hear anybody talk about. I never hear this highlighter ever spoken of, but I really love it. It is a super soft, a delicate look to the face. It's beautiful. I love this one. And of course, it brings a mirror, so anything from Bare Minerals, I love. I'm obsessed with them. The next one that I have is technically an eyeshadow, but it is a dupe for Whisper of Guilt. It is the Kiko um, eyeshadow in number 208. This was sent to me by my lovely friend Mariela during the Christmas season. And unfortunately, it came broken. So I have to be very careful with it because it, po it literally pops out. So I have to be very careful with this. But it is beautiful. Oh. I love this one. I'm going to swatch it for you. Isn't that, isn't the actual print pretty too? Like, isn't that pretty? So I'm going to swatch this for you guys so you can see that. Look at that. Isn't that gorgeous? Oh, I love this. And this is going to last me a very long time. I don't see this lasting. I mean, I don't see this. I'm going through this at all that fast. Ooh, that blinded you guys. But look how pretty that is. Pretty. It sucks. It's a shame that it broke, but it didn't shatter into pieces, so I just have to be careful with it. But this is the next one that I would highly recommend you get if you can get your hands on it. I know that in Jersey, up north, it's about two hours away from me. They sell the Kiko um, products, so I may eventually do a ride up there because I really want to try their other products. But the last highlighter that I am obsessed with, you guys, is the Josie Marin argan illuminizer 
I think that they re repackaged this one. They don't sell it like this anymore, but they repackaged it, and I think it's the same product. This is what I'm wearing under with a beauty blender. What I do, oh, I don't know. It is so pigmented. Like, I'm going to just look at how little that is. And then I'm going to rub it, and you guys can see that. Look at that. Oh, I love this one. Gorgeous. And I put this on. I put the dot on there. I dab this with my makeup sponge, and then I just dab it on my cheeks, and it looks amazing, amazing. Look at that. I love, love, love how this looks on its own, and if I top something on it. I also use this in the winter time with my foundation to give me that nice glow in the winter time because I can handle the glow in the winter time. Summer, I'm so oily that I can't do that, so I just use do my cheekbones, wherever I highlight, that's where I use this. So those are my top all-time favorite highlighters that I would highly recommend. Obviously, there are more gold tones because I love my goldish tones in the summer with a, a nice tan. So this is what I would recommend you guys. I will link them all down below for you. Check them out. You will not be disappointed and all these products are going to last you so long because you only need a little bit to, to use these. Don't forget to check out April's channel. I will put her channel down below. I will put the link to her video down below. Go to her channel, subscribe, and tell her I sent you. You guys will not be disappointed. She is so sweet, amazing. If you are a lip lover, you're going to love her. She loves her eyeshadow palettes, loves her highlighters, and she's so funny. I love, love watching her. So thank you guys so much for watching. If you are coming from April's channel, welcome to the family. Don't forget to subscribe if you have not subscribed. Like this video if you did like it. And don't forget that a smile is the best makeup a girl can wear.